You listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Go ahead. You don't know the Bible yet. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. You, you have patience. You have love. We have kindness. What is love? What is love? So what is love? What is love? What is love? It's an emotion. Watch. We're gonna read it according to God. We gonna read it according to God. Because you said for discipline, the problem with our people, we don't have it. You don't either. Because you're standing in front of us with no fringes. We're reading the Bible and you're talking about the Bible with us. You still got your hat on. So you've read the Bible, but you don't understand it yet. Watch this right here. Let's see what the discipline is supposed to be. Uh, 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 where is it? The Holy Discipline. Uh, 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 Five. Read that. From the most solemn chapter one, verse five. Let's see what this is supposed to be, that's one. Read. For the Holy Spirit, I will let you talk. I just heard what you said. I'm not doing what you said, then you can finish. Read. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will please the seat. So we say, for the Holy Spirit of discipline, so discipline is a holy spirit. Now watch what now. What is the Holy Spirit? What I just told you. Now what is it? What matters is what you What is the Holy Spirit? What you mean? What you mean? Because remember, it said the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit, meaning flee lies. So now, if you don't have the lie, that means you got what? The truth, right? So let's read what the Holy Spirit is. Let's get that in uh, Acts chapter, uh, you know what I want, 751. Read. Acts chapter 7, verse 51. Uh -huh. Be stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Because our people are hard headed. We'll read the Bible and won't apply it. We'll say we know we Israel, but won't live like it is like. We'll live like everybody else. Read. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Our people resist the Holy Ghost. Remember. The Holy Ghost will flee deceit, but our people resist the Holy Ghost. Read. And your fathers did, so do ye. Just like our forefathers did. That's why me and you are over here in Charleston right now. It's because our forefathers sinned against our God. Like a man. And we repeat the same sin today. Read. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Because our forefathers was killed for doing what we do right now. Our people murdered them. And we gonna be killed too, and we understand that, but we gonna come out here anyway. Hold on, brother, we gonna finish the talk. Yeah, but no, I, I said, hold on, I'm don't go on read it. So you want me to talk, you want to interrupt me, I speak. Wait, 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 does the scripture say the Holy Ghost came from? Came from? All praise. What's the existence of the gift? Reading. What's the gift of the Holy Ghost We're reading it now. That's what I'm saying. You ask, he asked, and you're not just going to ask the question. You know why people don't want to stay for the answer? Because they don't want to follow what you need. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. So he tell us to freeze in the middle of us talking when he ain't taught nothing. So you don't think it's disrespectful for you to interrupt. I asked you for you. That don't mean I got to stop. But I'll let you ask me questions. What if he asked where the Holy Spirit come from? Read the Bible. And they have slain them, but so before of the coming of the just one, Read. of whom ye have been now, the betrayers and murderers. So the same way our forefathers taught the Bible, and then men rose up against them because they don't want her to discipline of God. Read. Who have received the law? They received what? The law. They received what? The law. The one of the laws in the Bible is don't interrupt the man in his speech. So time out is interrupting the man in his speech. Read. By the dispossession of Asia. So when the law came by the prophets, read on. And have not kept it. They didn't do what when they received the law. And have not kept it. So when they found out they was Israel, they didn't do what with the law. And have not kept it. None of y'all out here keeping the law. 
Holy Ghost is a gift. But you have a gift. You have patience. You have love. We have kindness. What is love? What is love? It's an emotion. We're going to read it according to God. We don't read it according to God. Let's see. What? You, you saw I what? What? You saw I because now. God said I could be mad and no, sin no, not. Don't be mad. Read. God, just the fun Let's see, see what love is, bro. For this is the and love of God. For this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments. No, no, that we keep on breaking the commandments. That we keep his commandments. So the love of God is to do what one more time? That we keep his commandments. So if you're not keeping the commandments, you don't have that guilt right. of the Holy Ghost. Right. Right. Period. Right. That is what that read it again. Right. John, 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 it's a guilt right. because we don't deserve it. All of us are supposed to be dead right now. No, 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 but no, no, whenever no, no, no. that gift comes God and you turn you. on it, it's the God inside you. God it's inside of you. you. It's I God you. inside of you. Inside you. He said, I create you in my own likeness. Inside. Watch this. So God Watch this now. You. Wait. Let's see now. Make sense. Let's go to the first make, make sense. That's the truth. Make, make sense. sense. If you God is inside of us. From the Lord. Watch this. Up. You are the creator. So I got a question. From head to toe. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Hold on right here. Okay. Now listen up. Because I'm, I'm trying, trying to help you out. You ain't helping I'm me. I'm trying to help you. We gonna battle so watch. You ain't helping watch. me battle it. Watch. I'm, I'm not, not trying, trying to battle, battle you. you. you the you problem is, is, listen. You Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Go ahead. You don't know the Bible yet. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, so that's, that's what I'm saying. It's a gift. It's a, so wait, wait, wait. You say it's nothing wrong with it. Wait, you go to church. Why do you say it's nothing wrong? But that lion, you're not finding him in God in church. I can prove it. That's but what I'm saying. But you read the Bible. That is because it's in the Bible. Go get out. You're not reading the Bible in church, bro. Uh, That's right. Bro. What? I'm going to prove it. You're reading it. Why? Step, step back, soldier. Watch this. I'm going to ask you a question. If you calm down, I'm going to call you. I you don't have Now, watch this. All praise. Now. Do our people go to church on what day? What day do our people go to church? It doesn't matter how they worship they go. You going every day. Wait. The seven-day Adventists go Saturday. No, but they don't keep the Saturday. They buy and shop and cook on Saturday. They're breaking God's love. No, it's not. The holy day is what God said. Right. No, it's not. You mean to tell me. You are your own church. Eric, 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 Eric. You are your own church. The church start with you. Listen. The church starts with its people. It's like you. Listen, Eric. And you. Listen, do we get to choose how we go to heaven or not? No. You don't get to choose how you die. Stop. You don't get to choose how you die. Stop. 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 So do we get to choose how we worship God or we don't get to choose how we die. Stop. Stop. It is a simple question. I'm trying to calm you down because you're so right. He won't listen. He won't listen. Because he didn't want me to You can jump back in your head by God now. You so can I'm die trying right now. to give you the proper guidance if you calm down. Go ahead. So I, now, I calm. follow me for a minute, okay? First Walk second. with me for a minute. I ain't say a second. Because, be listen, 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 listen. Do our people get to choose how they worship God or did God give us instruction on how? Hey, Bo. No, no, no. Because no, not everybody, we all tribe, we all different tribes. So, no, so, so, so we all, I, I, I answer God my question. Is, oh, God is spirit. I'm going to ask both of y'all the same question. Now, now, what does that mean? I give you my answer. What does that mean? That means so you got to deal with God is spirit. You got to deal with him through your spirit. It ain't through no, it ain't through no washing your hands. Absolutely. So now, watch what that. No, no, no. Listen, I agree that we got to worship God in spirit and truth. But in the Bible, because that's the word of God, am I right? The Bible. Because uh -huh. God, the, the word of God, God tells us uh -huh. what the spirit is and what the truth is. Uh -huh. It does. Uh -huh. So now, whenever it said we must, it said must. Is that an option? That's a must. So is that an option? That's an option. So it's, it's, it's a must. Right. right. So that's not because see, now, let me tell you what. Two seconds. He answered it. He was right. Y'all, I think y'all are just misunderstanding what I'm saying. So I'm trying to slow it down quick. So he said we must worship him in spirit. And in truth, you're right, bro. Now let's see Antoine and Eric what the spirit and the truth is according to God. Then bring it up. When you say worship in spirit and truth, you must be following what the spirit and the truth is. Am I right? Now let's get that in John 6:63. This is the spirit according to God. Bring it out. Got it? John chapter 6, verse 63 tells you exactly what the spirit is. 
And then, then we're going to get the truth because he said spirit and truth. Read. Right? Read. John chapter 6, verse 63. Read. It is the spirit that quickeneth. So the word quickeneth means what? Anybody know? And if y'all don't, we will tell you what it's all your it means to change. The spirit is what changes you. So the way we change is the spirit. We don't bring the picture to eat. We don't read about it. What, what, what? But I'm going to show you. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not trying to belittle you. Eric, listen. Watch, watch. Watch this. 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 Eric, Eric, I let, I let Antoine tell us what the spirit of the truth is. Uh -huh. What is it to you? What is it to me? I, yeah. Listen, because see, let me tell you why I study. Let me tell you, let me tell you a little bit. Now, let me, and let me, and I, I'm not going to take it off. 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 Now, are you going to let me explain? I can let you. I listen to you. But I haven't finished. I don't want you to finish because I don't want you to feel like I'm the other one. I'm a spiritual man, right? So when I do a spiritual man, does that see the air blow? We don't see it, but we feel it. So that's spirit. See, the spirit is not seen. Unless you're looking for the internet. Okay. That's spirit and truth. You understand? You understand? I'm, I'm the sun, the sun giving too. sun rays right now. Uh -huh. We know it giving heat, but we can't look directly at it. And so that's, 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 that's spiritual. Okay. So that's all, that's all now in divine spirit. Okay. Because God worked everything in divine spirit. Okay. So now the spirit and truth coming is what deal with in you. Okay. And, and only, I can't say what to do with him because we all have spirits oh, of good. They all got good and bad attention of spirits. Uh -huh. So every spirit is not going to come always the, the right way. way. Good. All right. So now knowledge of spirit uh -huh. is for people that's universal and what y'all may be studying by right. the intro. So now, he just explained. Now let me show what the Bible says the spirit is. You gave me a speech. Now let's see if God matches what you said. Read that. John chapter 6 verse 63. Uh -huh. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit is what changes us. So there is a spirit of particular one that is talking about. Because the word quickened me it is the spirit that changes you. Read on. The flesh profit nothing. Because like you said, the flesh don't profit nothing. Go ahead. The words that I speak. The what? The words that I speak. The what? The words that I speak. Being the Bible. Because these are the words that Christ is speaking. Read on. Unto you, they are spirit. So the Bible is the spirit. Right. Now let's go what the truth is. Because if you're not following the Bible, you are not, you don't have the spirit. So now let's see what the truth is that we gotta follow. Read. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh -huh. And thy law, thy what? Thy law, thy what? Thy law is what? Is the truth. Is the what? Is the truth. Is the what? Is the truth. So according to God, what is the truth? Thy law. So now, if we're not keeping the laws, are we following the spirit of, the, of God? So you got you keep no, the laws. No, 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 Oh, it's in name, name, can you see this in on me? You don't know me. You don't know me. I've been one of the best drug dealers in Charleston. I've been one of the best drug dealers. But you can't judge me. You can't judge me. No, you can't. Does the Bible say that? You can't. Does the Bible say that? The Bible got plenty murderers. No, 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 no. But what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? He repented. So how did he repent without correction? Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get Romans 7 and 7. Romans 7. I'm going to prove. I'm going to prove. Because now, do we have a dress code in the Bible? Do we have a dress code in the Bible on how we got to dress as Israelite people? Yeah. No, he said no. Do we have a dress code? I don't know. I haven't studied your tribe. So wait, wait, wait. I haven't studied so your that, tribe. That, that, no, it ain't your tribe. All 12 I got the same law. All 12 got the same law. So now. You the only tribe? No. All 12. All 12. All 12. So Buddhism so, has their own tribe. So Buddhism, Buddhism is not a religion uh, so that ain't got nothing to do with God. Religion. Sacrificing pigeons and all no. that. No. Uh, that is why Christ said, don't do it. Christ, Christ said, stop. So, so wait, you don't follow so the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Did Christ, did Christ tell me to stop? stop? You, go, you can't said, follow the Lord. You know what he said? You know what he said? You know what he said? You can't follow Jesus and the law. You can't follow Christ and the law. You can't. Watch this. Give me a revelation. Listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible now. Listen to the Bible now. Y'all don't know what Paul is talking about. I'm going to prove it. 
Watch this. No, no, because y'all don't understand the Bible. Listen to what they said. Wait, we're reading Revelation. Ain't this the last book in the Bible? It's just a what? Read, no, it's just how you go on the down and say, you know what? Let me find out what they're talking about. We know Christianity. That's what y'all are teaching. Read. Revelation. Chapter 14 and verse 12. Let's see what we got to do if we can keep the commandments and follow Christ. Uh -huh. Here in the patience of the saints. Now, you, you mentioned, mentioned patience. patience. Here's the patience of the saints. Read on. Here are they that keep the commandments. So they keep the commandments. Right. Now, watch this right here. Of God. Uh huh. And the, and the faith of Jesus. So can we do both according to the Bible? None of them do it because they don't even respect why, Saturday. Why y'all won't say it? We do. We do respect Saturday. That's the Saturday day. Right. That's the whole night. Wait, we ain't here to teach you. We ain't buying. We're not shopping. We're not cooking. We're not working. We are not here to teach you. You say come on. We ain't got to win the possible on the Saturday day. Yeah. We ain't got to win the possible on the Saturday day. No, so yeah. therefore, we are doing what they did. Okay. Right. So stop with that. Y'all just don't understand. Just hear us out. Hey, 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 you yeah. just hear us hey, out. Hey, Our hey, black hey, men don't want to hear us out. Yeah, people had to teach you. So and you then, and we're going to choose the truth. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Choice. It's, it's a, a choice. choice. And if you choose and not to, what is the judgment? And what is the judgment? Because I can't promise you life out there. And what is the judgment? I can create life, but what I can't promise you there. There's no judgment. You Your sure. choice maker only make one judgment. Wait, what he he does. He makes that judgment. What did he say? Life or death. Now, life or death. How do you get life? From the existence of the God in you. Matthew 19, 16. Christ told us how we get life. Christ going to tell you how to get life. Christ going to tell you how to get everlasting life. And then the opposite will be you get hell. Everlasting damnation. Read what Christ said. Read what Christ read. Read. He said Christ dealt with the Spirit. He got it from his All spirit. Read. read. He got it from his Father. Read on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Read. Bring it out. And behold, what came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this man just asked, how do I get life? How do I get eternal life? He had said to the Son of Man. I didn't say eternal. Read. I didn't say eternal. This is saying eternal life. You, okay. Watch. And he said unto, you said life or death. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So Christ said, God is good. Go ahead. That is God. But if thou wert enter into life, you want everlasting life. Because you said God chooses life or death. The life he's talking about is everlasting life. Right. Keep the commandment. How do you get eternal life? Keep the commandment. How do you get eternal life? Keep the commandment. So if you don't keep the commandments, you got eternal down nation. Right. Right. So you must keep the laws, which are the commandments, or you don't get in. So today is the Sabbath. These are fringes that we were. Our northern kingdom brothers, which are the brothers you said was already here when you were talking to the officer. Yes, the northern kingdom was already here. The conquistadors, that's why they speak Spanish. They conquered them and forced them into subjection. Then put them in their reservations and then gave them different names like Indian. Bring it they wore the fringes. You see them because they had the commandments of God. So they killed 77 million of them. Then they brought the slide over also. Then they brought the top three over here because they killed 77 million of them for us to come over and rebuild this mother. That's Matter right. of fact, to build it all up. So we are the Israelites. Right. We are them. Right. This right here, the spirit that is talking about is the commandments of God. Right. So why we don't do that? That right now, watch what happened when we don't keep the commandments. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Faith, you have to have faith in Christ and the commandments. Because now, like you said earlier, watch, watch, watch. Hebrews 10. Because that's going to go right along with your question, bro. All y'all got to do is just hear us out. I don't pray y'all for listening. I appreciate y'all for listening. I appreciate it. Watch it. 10. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For the law having a shadow of good things to come, uh -huh. and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices. Can never with those what? Listen to what he just said. Can never with those sacrifices. So they said that the sacrifices could not do something. Read on. What they offered year by year uh, continually make the covenant there unto perfect. Come on up. Come on up. So it said the sacrifices could not make you perfect. He asked about the faith in Christ. So you got to believe in Christ. Because before the 
able to sacrifice us for their sin. Now we got to believe on Christ for our sin. But we must stop sinning. Read. For then will they not have ceased to be offered. Uh -huh. Because then the worshippers once heard should have had no more conscience of sin. Now read the next verse. But in those sacrifices there is remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible. So it is not possible. Listen up, Eric. Because y'all asked about the sacrifices and faith in Christ. What's going on? What's your name? What is it? Kaya? Oh, okay, it's nice to meet you, Kaya. I'm Aton. So we're going over the law of sacrifice and the faith of Christ. The difference. Because we still got, don't we got to believe on Christ today? Do we do sacrifices today? No, we don't. We do not sacrifice wood and goats no more because Christ said stop. We're reading it right now. But, it is, but he told us to stop. So if Christ said stop, do we continue if Christ said stop? Listen, so what he's saying, when they were doing the law of sacrifice, right? Whenever they committed a sin, so say as I did a sin, sometimes those sins required my blood, I had to die. So when Christ died, he allowed for us to have that grace. Now that grace, does grace mean I just need to get, I just need to sin anyway? Or does it mean I got to stop? It means I got to stop, but you say no. No, so you ain't, you ain't, but you see, as long as you in the flesh, you gonna always sin, because your body yeah, ain't but been wait, redeemed. So do we, do we continue your body, to just say that in Rome. Now do we willfully sin? sin do we supposed to willfully sin? You ain't, you ain't got no choice. No, that's, that's a lie. You in the future. That's not true. That's your not in the Bible. Your body ain't been redeemed. That's not in the Bible. That's that is the endure part in the Bible. Chapter two Watch. and three. We're Chapter reading, two we're reading Hebrews that we were told to stop doing sacrifice read, now. Read, read it now. What? I'm going to go to that scripture. I'm going to read it. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4. I'm going to finish that thought about the sacrifices. Go ahead. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and, and of goats they won't listen. Go ahead. should take away sin. So it's not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away our sin no more. They know it did. That is why Christ died, because the blood of Christ take away sin, not the blood of bulls and goats. So he said not to sacrifice no more. So now that, he, that Christ said, don't sacrifice no more, should I continue to do so? That means so, y'all don't answer that. That's why I tell you. But he said so, he didn't come to change the law. Huh? He said, I didn't come to change now, the law. So why did the law not be changed? Moses did all the law. Watch this. Watch this. Now, what is Christ? Is Christ our sacrifice? Do you? Is Christ our sacrifice? Is Christ our sacrifice? Is he our sacrifice? Is he our sacrifice? Is he not? Is he is? Because he said, I am. So now, if Christ is a sacrifice, is a sacrifice to the places you're trying to do. The word says he said, don't change it. Huh? He said the words that don't watch, change watch, it. Watch, 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 watch. It's the law of sacrifice still going now, but is that sacrifice now Christ? In certain countries, country, in certain countries they do. That's not, huh? In certain countries they do. Now are they right when but they do it? But that's The laws have not Christ changed. Christ says stop, now, are they right But the they law has not changed. Just because Christ says stop, but, but the Father Kai, right? said stop it. Kai, right? Kai, if your mother told you to not go outside, and you go anyway, are you wrong if you choose to go? Are you, did you disobey what she said? Even though you did, did you disobey? So now, if Christ told us don't sacrifice no more, but have faith and believe on him, and we continue to sacrifice after he told us to stop, are we right or wrong now? We're wrong. So that would mean that if Christ we just read, that we're not supposed to do that no more. So for us to sit up here and say, we just read Hebrews chapter 10. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Let's see what the sacrifice is now. Come here, Kai. Watch this, Kai. We're going to deal with you. Watch this, Kai. Because they don't want to hear what the Bible says. Watch this. You tell me what this means, Kai. They don't want to hear it because they got to keep the commandments. They can't just do what they want to do. Now they want to deliberately. Now you're willfully sinning. That means Christ didn't die for you. Go ahead. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be transformed by the renewing of your... Now read verse 1 with it, because we don't live in sacrifice. You supposed to sacrifice your life for Christ. Go ahead. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Uh -huh. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice. So, Kai, so what did Christ just, what did Paul just say? They went to Paul. We just read out of Paul. That we ought to present our bodies a living sacrifice. What does that mean? You don't know. Good. Now, we're going to explain it if you want to ask 
for us to say, for us to do so, we have to live according to Christ says so. Do what God says, regardless of what everybody else says. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. in